So now what we need to do is that we need to use this list item with icon to display the the uh, the title and the published ad and the source. So here in this loop, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use this list item with icon, and then I'm gonna pass the following. First of all, I'm gonna pass a text. So the text is gonna be equal to the article. It's gonna be equal to the title. It's gonna be equal here to the title. Title. And then the second thing that I'm gonna pass is the is the secondary text. Secondary text. So the secondary text is going to be equal to the published at. I'm going to say here published at. And then we have also the the tertiary text. Text. And then we need to pass the here. We need to display the, uh, the source. So the source is going to be here. Source. So what are these? What are the text and the secondary text and the tier theory text these are properties of this of this class of the three three line uh, avatar uh, list item so this uh, three line avatar list item has these properties it has the text it has the secondary text and it has also the uh, tertiary text and here by the way I have here a spelling error tertiary text so make sure that the spelling is correct here secondary and here text now I need to store this in a variable I'm gonna say here item so the item is gonna be equal to the list item with icon finally what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna push this item to the list so remember we already have made a reference to this list here so we need to use this we need to use the home home list and then we need to call a function called add widget add widget and then I'm gonna pass the item pass the item so basically what's gonna happen is that each time we have an article we are gonna get the uh, we are gonna pull out the title at the published at here published and here published the published at and also the source and then we are gonna use the list item to display the title the published at and the source and then i'm going to get the item and push that item to the list to be displayed in the list and finally before i run my application here it should be a response by the way this should be response.json make sure that this is a response and here response let me now save and run my application so if i run my application guess what So as you can see, what happened is that I got all of the information. I got the articles here, the title, the published ad, and the source. The title, published ad, and source. And as you can see, it's a list. I can scroll and check out all of these articles.